Today is Wednesday in the octave of Easter. Would you like to perform a miracle? In our first reading, Peter and John show us how to do it. Peter looked intently at the man crippled from birth, as did John, and said, look at us, and he paid attention to them. Peter said, I have neither silver nor gold, but what I do have, I now give you. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Nazarene, rise and walk. Then Peter took him by the right hand and raised him up. Okay, so what exactly did Peter and John do? They looked intently at him. They asserted Jesus' healing power. They took him by the hand and trusted that Jesus' power was working through them. So what exactly would you do if you wanted to help someone who is suffering from ill health or personal trauma, perhaps a family member, a friend, a classmate, or a work colleague. You would do exactly what they did, which is what Mother Teresa did. First, come to know and experience Jesus' healing power for you and feel the desire to share that healing love. Then, when you come upon a person in need, Look at them intently. That is the word our reading uses. Intently, with love and compassion and a desire to help. Listen carefully to their story, respecting it as their story. Then, trust that somehow Jesus' love is flow flowing through you to them as you listen and respond to their story with respect. Then, Trust that somehow Jesus' love and your compassion will make a difference in their lives. If you remain in contact with that person, watch to see what might happen. Perhaps they will tell you, perhaps not. Or you may never see them again, in which case you will never know. It is always good to be ready to let God surprise us. All this is what chaplains do, whether in hospitals, prisons, the military, or wherever. Same for wise parents, teachers, coaches, priests, deacons, doctors, and nurses. Imagine if we could get politicians, bureaucrats, money makers, and all the rest of the self-absorbed to do this too. There's the real challenge for us people of faith. Notice how important the encounter is as in today's gospel. The disciples are caught up in intense conversation with Jesus on the road and at their meal together, their hearts burning within them. Notice how important our own individual encounter with Jesus is, the encounter with divine love and divine compassion so that we have love to share. Let's rejoice today in this Easter season that Jesus is risen, and that he continues to work through us to share new life with all of humanity. And don't forget to let God surprise you today. It's a good reminder that he is in charge and will work his will through us now and in all the days to come.